And as the East Coast deals with the haze from those Canada wildfires, the West Coast is prepping for its wildfire season. They're like, we do this all the time. State Farm and Allstate have already stopped writing new policies in California because of wildfires causing construction risk uh, and that rebuilding is more expensive than ever. Uh, than ever. Others could follow suit. Now let's get to Contessa Brewer with more on that story for us. Contessa? Yeah, there's a lot of factors that go into that, Kelly, but it, basically insurers and reinsurers are trying to reduce their exposure to wildfires. We did see State Farm and Allstate announce no new policies in California where eight of the 10 costliest wildfires across the globe happened. Chubb and AIG already largely left the state. Industry experts predict more will leave unless the state regulators grapple with a market where insurers are not permitted to charge enough to cover their losses. Insurers are bracing now for wildfire, as you said, um, but the government scientists have now confirmed that El Nino is back. That typically results in hotter, drier weather across the northern U.S. and Canada. And look at this. The forecast from the National Interagency Fire says that they're seeing elevated potential in the Pacific Northwest. Look around Washington State there for June and July, around the Great Lakes, upstate New York and northern New England. These are all places that we are not accustomed to talking about massive threats of wildfires. And then you'll see in the green, there's a lower potential for wildfires in California, at least in June and July, because all of that lush greenery from record setting rainfall in the spring. But watch out for August and September. If all of that foliage dries, it just ends up as fuel for wildfires. I did want to mention, Kelly, that we see these regulatory hurdles that are present in California. They're definitely present in, in Florida, Washington State, Louisiana, Texas, New York, New Jersey. And insurance brokerage A.J. Gallagher told me that soaring inflation, those reinsurance rates and climate risk all combine into a massive hurdle in all 50 states. As far as the smoke goes, already we could see travel insurance kicking in for the flight dis disruptions that Leslie was talking about. And Varisk tells me that smoke damage claims are already coming in.